Okay, so let's start. Um, for lecture five, this is entitled Historical Criticism. So from the title itself, this is to criticize historical works, historical documents, historical texts. So, ganun kinahanglan man siya. Again, we've talked about this in lecture four. Na because history is based on sources, we need to criticize the sources. Because, again, <laughs> kay subjective mang good si sources. And uh, as historians, dapat kanang, we must try, we must try, Jude, to be ab as objective as possible. Or kung kuan pa kay atong hunahuna on Jude ba na dapat fair ta sa atong gijudge or sa atong gitunan na event or tao. So, historical criticism examines the origins of earliest texts to appreciate the underlying circumstances upon which the texts came to be. Pasensya sa mga typos, no? Kay manumano mano siya type. <laughs> Again, historical criticism examines the original texts based sa iyahang meaning or iyahang pasabot atong time nagisulat siya. So, um, ano yung magod? Dili ko sure kung diri ba ito na ako na section na hisgutan. But, pag, mu pag muingon mang gudtaog sources, then mao ang gamiton when writing about an, an, about an event. The historians has this problem of looking at the document based on his own standards. Based on his time. Based sa kung unsa ang mga paghitabo sa iyang time, kung unsa'y sakto, kung unsa'y sayop, kung unsa'y standard society sa iyang time. And that is wrong. Sayop na siya. Because, ang isa ka document, gibuhat na siya during baya sa past na event. So, it is very unfair sa author o sa document itself na i-devalue na to siya, i-decrease na to iyang value because sa to ang own, sa to ang standards. Kagets na mo? So, historical criticism starts with looking and analyzing at a source based sa kung kanus asya gibuhat. So, dapat ang value ni source kay dili siya mugamay tungod sa tong standards. Kaya gets mo? So, historical criticism really is very important when studying history kay para fair pod ang atong pag-judge o ang atong pag-study sa isa ka-event. Dili lang sa isa ka-event but also sa isa ka-tawo. Because we have this batasan na lantawo na to ang Dili lang ang mga historical figures but ang mga tao sa itong palibot based ato ang panlantaw. For example, um, Aguinaldo. Some would say that Aguinaldo is not karapat-dapat na mahimong hero. Kadungog gumana. Yes, kadungog kikuana. And I sometimes magunhuna po ba ako. Um, Aguinaldo Mangudao is a traitor. Na iyang gibaligya si Philippines for money and all. And, uh, say tawag any. Kinang, it is wrong to judge Aguinaldo based sa ato ang nahibalan sa iya ha? O based sa itong standards kung unsa dapat ang isa ka Filipino? Kung unsa dapat ang ang gibuhat niya? Because lahi mga good circumstances during the Spanish colonial period o sa ato ang sitwasyon. So, maupod na in historical criticism, it is um, a goal for us to look a source uh, at a source um, with its historical na value okay it has two important goals historical criticism has two important goals first to discover the original meaning of the text in its primitive or historical context and its literal sense or sensus literaris histor <laughs> historicus second niya na um Si tawag ani goal is to establish a reconstruction of the historical situation of the author and recipients of the text. Historical criticism has two types: external criticism and internal criticism. Okay, so again, ang nai two goals si historical criticism first. Matud pa sa ako ang gi-explain. It is to understand a source base sa iyahang time kung ano siya sa gibuhat. Second is to establish a reconstruction of the event with um, the kuan pod. 
with the connection sa source o sa situation ni ni historian, ma'am, si pasabot, kisut lang ma'am, he explained the ugtarong. Um, ang second na goal is to connect the source with the purpose, the argument, and uh, the historian to form an analysis in regards with the source. Okay, so na ay duha ang klase sa historical criticism, that's external and internal criticism. So, uh, his historical criticism na practice of the historians has its roots in 7th century during the Protestant Reformation and gained popular recognition in the 19th and 20th centuries. Okay. The absence of historical investigation paved the way for historical criticism to rest on philosophical and theological interpretation. So, this is um, the problem sa una. Because kung mo criticize mong good sa una, sa una, 7th century itong historian, guys, ha? During the Protestant na rise um, sa religion. Because of kanang the absence of historical method of investigation, ang ilahang ginabuhat when they criticize, <coughs> excuse me, when they criticize was to to judge a historical work or an event or a person based sa philosophical and theological na background. And supposedly that's dili po japo na siya sakto. Okay, the passing of time has advanced historical criticism. So from philosophical and theological na criticism, base na criticism, karon kay nausab na ni siya. It advanced into various methodologies used today such as source criticism. Um, analysis and studies the sources by authors, not just biblical authors. Um, form criticism. Seek to determine units, original form, and historical context of the literary tradition. Sa pasabot ani, um, sabto ng isa ka source ang words sa source, ang pasabot sa source based sa iyahang generation. Ani man good ni? Diba? Sa lahi-lahi na time frame, sa lahi-lahi na generation, lahi-lahi po ang context o meaning sa each na word. Lahi-lahi o guit. For example, naapoy mga words na nag-exist karon na wala sa una. Naapoy mga words na lahi o pagsabot sa una sa lahi karon. Naapoy mga, yun na, for example, anak kay curse words. Wala ba na sa una pero naa karon. Kana po mga slang na words, mga um, street words or like something na kanang sige na sa Filipino. Kana mga ginagamit sa mga ordinaryong tao. <laughs> Yeah, street words or like something. Nah, nah. Um, this form criticism is to determine the literary tradition of that time. Na dili nato i judge ang isa ka source based sa literary na tradition sa atua. But we will look at the source based sa iyahang time. Okay, reduction criticism with regards to the author of the text as editor of the source material. So, Reduction criticism is based kung kinsa ang gasulat o kunsa ang background sa author, kung sa iyahang trabaho. Tradition criticism which attempts to trace the development stages of oral tradition from its historical emergence to its literary presentation. So unsa man ang oral tradition ato na time? How did the author got his sources? Was it from interviews or was it from hearsay na dunggan lang ba niya or kaila ba siya sa um, si tawag ani? Sa mga tao or he himself ba is a participant of the event? So that's canonical criticism which focuses in its interpretation on the Bible and on the text of biblical canon. So this is pod, um, based on religious na areas pod and then last is um, the related methodologies others pod din siya na methodologies pwede psychological so um, sociological so diha na dayo na muingon jud na pag magstudy ta og history we really need to sa tawag ani to branch out just to fully understand and give value sa isa ka source okay so there are two parts of historical criticism. The first part is to determine the authenticity o sa pagkatinuod, pagkajanuin sa material. And it is also called a provenance of a source. 
So, kung tinuod ba si source, kung tinuod ba yun si relic, si material, kung wala ra ba siya gibuhat-buhat, kung wala ra ba siya gibuhat ana na time to si gamit ni mo a source, the, the critic should determine the origin of the material, its author and sources of information used. Um, external criticism is used to determining these facts. Ato na siya hisgutan lo, sa ubos. The second part is to weigh the testimony to the truth. The critic must examine the trustworthiness of the testimonies as well as determine the probability of the, the statements to be true. This process is called criticism or higher criticism, which it deals with more important matters than the external form. So this is the internal criticism. So external criticism is to determine ang kuan ang pagkatinuod sa material. Internal criticism is ang provenance sa sulod sa material. Sulod sa text, sulod sa document, kung tinuod ba ihang istorya. So, let's further discuss that here. First kind of criticism is external criticism. External criticism determines the authenticity of the source, authenticity of the material. It may be tested in two ways. First is paleolog. Uh, Paleographical, the deciphering and dating of historical manuscripts. Kung ang kuan, apil ani actually ang kuan. Ang time sa ang idad sa material na gisulatan. Um, carbon dating. I've um, I've mentioned this. Um, kuan pod. Kung unsa na time, um, ang words na gigamit, ang script na gigamit, ang manner of writing. Yeah. There are many ways to prove if kuad if tinuod bagyod na ang isa ka material is from this specific na area. So this is the this is the topic na i-criticize sa external criticism. The authenticity of the Okay, na pa wala ka solid. Wait lang ha. Okay, o di ba? Kusog kay siya mo aw-aw. <laughs> okay, so again, nakadungog si Doggy dan ha? So, okay, so um, that's in the external criticism again. There are so many ways to to prove the date or like ang idad sa isa ka material. So you cannot fake. You cannot fake your source. You cannot fake. You cannot. Yes. Kanang naabot sila yung ginabasihan, ma'am, kung reliable ba ang source na ilang i-criticize? Um, yes, that's um, at umaungan din siya itong gisgutan. First is the external um, criticism. It is, um, ang process na ilang gibasihan dari is carbon dating, Jude. Da yun, low bat din ko. Wait lang gamay. Carbon dating, it is a process of knowing or examining the carbon materials sa isa ka butang to give an exact na age sa material da yun sa kuan po sa internal criticism it is further research um di ba again ni ambak manunta <laughs> um sa in internal criticism di ba ang atong manggisgo ang external is the authenticity of for example libro so, kung usa ka tinuod ang kanina libro ka gisulat during the Renaissance period, ana. Tapos, ang um, sa internal criticism is um, proving na tinuod ang giklaim ani na libro or tinuod ang gisulat ani na libro. Ang sa internal criticism, dili siya pareha sa external criticism na ang iyahang investigation is true science, true raw materials. Ang sa internal criticism ang good kay ma ang method na ginagamit usually to prove and to to measure the value ani is through further pagyud na research through validating with other na sources so um how to validate you look for other sources na parehas og topic lang tawo nimo kung sakto lang tawo nimo kung mo ko inside or kung dili and then Mangita na po kang may source hangtod na you are kanang sure na jud na tinuod siya. And um, maong kinahanglan jud ka ayo na na primary sources because as I've said the last na discussion the more na daghan imong primary source the more na dili man good ma question ang imong work 
because originally mong sources and mas dual sila sa event. Um, did I address your question or lahi ang imong pasabot sa imong question? Okay lang ma'am, nasabda na ako. Okay, okay. Okay, yes. Okay, so let's go back. Naka... Sa tawag ani? Nakasunod ba ang uban? Let's go back go back with external criticism. So, the critic must determine whether the material under investigation is raw, meaning unaltered, and it exists exactly as the author left it. The content must be viewed in every possible angle as forgery was not unknown during the Middle Ages. Yes. Um, the authenticity of the material can be examined from the other genuine sources having the same subject or written during the same period. Similarities of agreements and difference or of or disagreements of some common details such as the culture, tradition, and even events during the period by which the document was made can be a basis for judging the authenticity of the texts. Okay, so that's under the external criticism. Internal criticism determines the history of the facts contained in the document. It is not necessary to prove the authenticity of the material or the document, but the facts contained in the document. Again, this is not about the authenticity of the material, the book, continued ba ang book, in ani in ana, but ang information, ang descriptions, ang mga gihatag na facts, informations, continued ba? So, maunay na asa internal criticism. So, this, um, Included po dari ang pagdetermine sa value of the facts, the character of the sources, the knowledge of the author, the influences prevalent at the time of writing, the influences of the author, kung sa iha mga biases, kung kuan po, kung um, unsa ang mga iyahan na part, o unsa ang kanang iyahang conclusion sa iyahang analysis, o unsa ang kanang facts lang dyan. So that's included with internal criticism. Okay. So here in internal criticism, um, we firmly establish the facts given by the author or the writer of the source na atong criticize or sa document na atong criticize. Did everybody understand the difference between external and internal criticism? External, it is about the material. Internal, it is about the facts and the knowledge, the information which we provide sa material. Sangoku, <laughs> Stony, <laughs> nakasabot ra? Oh, yes, ma'am. Not ko, ma'am. Ha? Nag-take not ko, ma'am. Oh, okay, sana all. <laughs> okay. So, test of authenticity. Why do we need to test jud the kamatuuran, the genuineness of a source? To distinguish a hoax, a fake, or a misinterpretation from a genuine document, the historian must test common in police the legal detection, meaning mahibut dapat ang mga investigators. Dapat jud. Again, this is um, connected jud kaayo sa katokong giingon last time na tungod nga nung sikat kayo si fake news sa Philippines because we don't test the sources, we don't test the authenticity of documents, we don't test internally and externally, we just read and ah, tinuod ko rin o, kagapost man no dapat jud again and again and again and again you must test the authenticity, laing man paminawon pagka tinuod sa isa ka document sa isa kagisulat no kay para matawag dili pud ta appeal sa atong mga ginasaway ba naka nang mga ignorante man kining mga tagaluson oy wah mao jud na ko permi madunggan ron mga ignorante kay mga tagaluson mga kuan kayo dapat para dili ta appeal sa atong mga ginapangyawyaw dapat we must be a responsible na citizen ni Philippines no no <laughs> Okay, so making the best guess of the date of the document, he or she examines the materials to see whether they are not anachronistic. So, pag may yung tag-anachronistic kay, kung ano, um, si tawag ani, saan na kung may pagpasabot, anachronistic. 
um, dili siya fake bitaw, dili siya fake o ginaklaim. Dili siya against sa kanang ginaklaim niya na time frame. But um, for example, um, ang isa ka libro um, na na discover tapos ginaklaim sa discover na ang kanina libro kay kuan daw gisulat during the middle ages. Tapos pagbasa sa libro ang naka ang words na gigamit dito kay kuan para sa ato ah. <laughs> na ay mga shit, ni mga fa, na ay mga inana ba. So anachronistic siya because middle ages daw siya product pero ang words na ginagamit sa karon. So it is anachronistic. Like kanang kuan ba? Dili siya dili siya tinuod. <laughs> okay. Um Example, paper was rare in Europe before the 15th century and printing was unknown. Pencils did not, does not exist there, there before in the 16th century. Typewriting was not even um, in the, invented until the 19th century and the Indian paper came only at the end of the century. So the historians also examined the inks for signs of age or of anachronistic chemical composition. Huh? So dili jud ni mo ma-fake. Dili jud ni mo ma-fake ang source. Kedagan kayo guys para ma-test ma kung tinuod siya. Okay. Outside from the paper, the pencil, the ink na gigamit, um, making the best guess of the possible author of the document, he, she, can identify the handwriting, signature, seal, letterhead, or watermark. Even when the high handwriting is unfam unfamiliar, it can be compared with authenticated specimens. So, this is really... Um, as a whole, no, balik balik kama na siya. It is the same. Um, si tawag ani. Test of authenticity really is very important, not just to prove uh, the the genuineness and pagkatinuod sa isa ka source, but to give value pod, no, sa source itself, and to make sure na tinuod po ang atong ginabasa o ang atong ginatunan. And uh, really. Test of authenticity is not about just the source, but also about the author, the authority of the author, sa iyang background. Why do we need to listen to him? Why do we need to believe sa iyang mga gipang storya? So, this is lecture 5. So, uh, na ganit ko, namubuo na siya. This is historical criticism, internal and external criticism, and the test of authenticity. Uh, authenticity. What is its purpose and um, what it is its important importance rather? So that ends our lecture five. <laughs> okay, if you have questions again, please um, post it to me. <laughs>